Home, house, abode, residence, shelter. That is what cities are and become. Medellin, Colombia's second largest city, is that and wants to be the best home. We are hosts by nature, and that is what our history has proven. A diverse heritage transformed into a legacy that we maintain with love. Medellin has a male and female soul with voices of diverse accents and tones and colors, many colors in its landscape, skin and eyes. Eyes that see how hundreds of hands and the desire to do things right get up early every day to face the challenges that we adventure upon as a city. In Medellin, millions of hearts beat to the rhythm of hope that sets the pace of the city. The melody that we set out to create some time ago is that of a great choral symphony made by all. We understood that the echo of development could not be just an echo, it had to be more. In recent years, the city has undergone a transformation process that is based on social planning that seeks to give priority to the most vulnerable populations and territories. Medellin is today recognized as a front runner in planning and management, as evidenced in its inclusive urban growth. That scope of inclusion embraces all, but focuses especially on children and youths, because Medellin has a youthful spirit. The building of the Buen Comienzo, or Good Start daycare centers that offer nutrition, healthcare, education, recreation, and integral childcare for low-income families is part of the proposal of inclusion that focuses specially on children and teenagers. Children play learn, grow, and are educated at these centers in environments created specifically for their well-being. City School is a revolutionary program for civic education and quality in the educational process of our girls, boys, and teenagers in public schools of the municipality of Medellin. It offers extended extracurricular activities, extra classes in four educational areas culture, science and technology, sports and recreation, and bilingual studies. In Medellin, parks are not just parks, and libraries are not just libraries. Thanks to an idea of the municipality, there are now library parks, places in the city that have become focal points of inclusion and development that directly benefit the inhabitants of every part of the city. Medellin is moved by its people, which come from all of its corners and travel through the city using its creative mobility solutions. The city has the best public transportation system in Colombia, composed of a variety of unique and innovative services in the country and the world. The metro system, which has become an entire culture for the city. The metro cable cars, the only system of its kind used as mass transit solution in the world. Its cabins glide through the air to improve our quality of life. The Metro Plus buses complement this network, which brings and takes us and allows us to move in a wide network of public transportation. In Medellin, escalators are no longer a shopping center convenience. They have become an urban mobility strategy that enhances the quality of life of hundreds of residents. Public bikes also make their silent contribution as an effective transport system. And soon, our streets will have a tram, offering a new option for mobility and transport. Medellin's cultural life takes the stage every day and roams around all the streets in a steady evolution. It is continuously supported by public and private institutions. Amongst the mayor's office's main signs of commitment with the city is the network of music schools of Medellin, the Museum of Antioquia and the Sculpture Square with works by painter and sculptor Fernando Botero, world icon of art born in Medellin, are just two more examples of the commitment made by the city to bring art to all corners. We have a great institution that we are very proud of 
Empresas Públicas de Medellín, which is a world-class organization because of its quality in the provision of public utilities in terms of the supply of water, power, gas, aqueduct, and sewage, and also because it is a main pillar in the development of the city because of the investment that it rewards it. The current and future city project sees Medellin as a city for life, a more humane fabric of society, freer, happier, more just, and that proposes a concept of pedagogical urbanism. All new projects have this spirit, this intention. The Medellin River Parks Project is a strategic urban transformation project that will turn our river into an environmental hub and a public area for the city and the region. The UVAs are urban, cultural and educational transformations in the city's neighborhoods and townships. For spending leisure time, neighborly gatherings and encouraging sports, recreation and culture in general. The UVA community is a powerful school for citizen education. The Garden Walkway is part of the Medellin Green Belt and is a strategy of mid and long term transformation of the areas where the city's urban and rural zones come together, thus avoiding disorganized peripheral growth. The Mother Laura Bridge will be the largest urban bridge in Colombia and it will improve the mobility between two of the city's most populated sectors. Medellin works to become a city of universities that will have a network of four university campuses that complement the work of higher education institutions such as the ITM, the Pascual Bravo and the Colegio Mayor today with more than 30,000 students. And the Houses of Music will be the setting for a city that sounds like the future and that understands that school is all there is under the sun. The House of Memory Museum is a proposed place to promote actions that help the reconstruction, visibilization and inclusion of the city's violence of the last decades within our historical memory. This looks to transform history by turning violence into social lessons of human coexistence. Under the premise, remembering is not repeating. A city for life is also a healthy city that strengthens access to the network of hospitals and that focuses on public health through specific programs like Health at Home, a program for reorganizing welfare practices, ensuring the traditional model for curing diseases in hospitals. Attention must be concentrated at home in the context of its physical and social environment. In regards to social and technological innovation, the city is moving forward in the creation of the Innovation District. By strengthening institutions and the justice system, today Medellin has the best technology for safeguarding its citizens with innovative applications and the building of new police stations near and within the neighborhoods. All of these projects are based on the fundamental and true cultural transformation that is needed, the revolution of equity. The principal directions of this manifestation of government and citizenship are five. Transparency, participation, nonviolence, innovation, and resilience. The world is getting to know and recognizing the work done in Medellin to improve the quality of life for all of its inhabitants. Medellin was selected among 200 cities as the world's most innovative city. Medellin and all of us who call it home are once again ready to host, to receive, embrace, and give a warm welcome to the over 15,000 attendees of the UN Habitat Forum. Welcome, you are all friends we have yet to meet.